You know, come on, can you here? We're on deadline day. We have signed a sign in on deadline day, as you guys saw in the last episode. But we're now we've got seven hours left. Uh, I'll just tell you who we picked up on deadline day, uh, guys. We picked up a new left mid, and he's number 88. Signed him on a five year contract. There he is, number 88. Hopefully, he maybe can come on against Ross County tomorrow. Uh, yes, hopefully, guys, uh, we can still get some more transfers. And Jack Clark uh, will be a player that hopefully maybe can get, but only on loan, though, Jack Clark. Because the Spurs man, I would like to bring him on loan to the club, but I don't know where we would accept a loan move to us. Yeah, for Jack Clark, he would be amazing for us actually, hopefully. Yeah, if we can be bringing him from Spurs on loan to the end of the season, it would be good. Tottenham have just signed them. Either him or him. Carter Vickers or Poy. Hopefully they both one of them can join us on deadline day on loan. Carter Vickers, I do want to bring him to the club, but possibly on a loan to the end of the season. Uh, I see a bid for him as we inject permanent move. He can't join us on loan, though. Might bring him permanently on a pre contract, but I think we can go in for him this month. He probably won't be that expensive because he's at Tottenham. He's got six months left on his deal at Tottenham, but we really want to sign another player this one note. I'll see what they say to Rodney. Rodney has not been the greatest lately. No, they won't accept Rory McKenzie Spurs. <laughs> Imagine I'm playing. For £700,000. Right, so guys, Spurs are accepting £700,000. We need to try and get the wage right and hopefully he joins us this window. He'll maybe make his debut against Ross County tomorrow, but I just don't see. No. Hey guys, we're off from a three year contract here with us. He's 20 years old, he's hopefully gonna. Maybe get a bit of football with us. He wants a big release cause for when he leaves us, okay. Uh, eight grand a week he wants. Maybe if we remove, remove the bonus and a little bit of this. Come to us. It's deadline day. So guys, he is a that's probably gonna be our last transfer of this season first season so far. We've got him in and I'm going at from Spurs. One minute permanent deal on transfer on transfer deadline day to England man. But uh, hopefully, maybe just to really see what our team will be like after this window and I'm gonna give him a good kit number actually guys, I'm gonna give him number 39. So that's what he was at Spurs and he's hoping to really get... 
potentially put into the 11 at some point. Guys, we've got some sunnings that we really want to start against Ross County. But there's way better players. Since it'll be good to see him really an additional Kilmonic shirt. Because there's still about a run about five hours to go. Still really great tracking a transfer deadline day. We've still got a couple of offers in for players that we want to bring in. Four hours remaining. Who's it for? It's for Badescu, who's a goalkeeper. I'm not willing to sell at this stage of the season. Especially with the big Ross County game tomorrow. Cur Curtis Lyle, the young goalkeeper we have on the bench for now. Or Covid said they might both play. One of them might play against Ross County tomorrow. Since transfer deadline day has been a big night. And transfer deadline day has over. We signed a couple of players in the window. Rodney, I'll consider about playing you maybe. But remember, my man, there's options well ahead of you. Ready to play against Ross County. New signings we brought in on transfer deadline day. None of them are involved in the starting eleven. Mm, guys, I'm thinking about playing the right, the left winger. I mean, thinking of playing the left winger to give him his debut. Yeah, I'm going to give the left winger his debut, and hopefully he can do in seasonal for us, since he's obviously new to Rugby Park. He's hoping to do well. Who's ever watching, please hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. Hey guys, we brought in some window signings. Uh, we give the left winger we signed uh, his debut. Well, the new centre back we signed from Spurs is on the bench because I don't see DeFabro and Finlay getting replaced. But we're going to see the new left wing do well. So it means uh, Liam Miller has been dropped to the bench. It's the first of February here against Ross County. The season's still got a lot of games to go, but I believe it is in concern. So one point off league leader Celtic and still one point clear of third place Rangers. As long as in the top, the other two are trying to avoid it. This, look at that, guys. It's so tight in the top three this season. I just don't know how sensational it can get. We've been the, the only team in the Premiership that have lost one game this season. Chris Buck did was on the bench against St Johnson, but did come on in the second half. I give him the rip. I give him back in the starting eleven today. It is hoping to do well. Mm hmm. There is myself as the commanding manager, obviously. But uh, it's really got to get you back in, back in playing football again. The football's not so well and truly over. Alan Power will run back in and then goes back into Fabro as we're ready to get off to it. As we're hoping that we can do in sectional to the end of the season. So guys, we made a couple of signings last night, and a couple of signings are on the bench. Now 39's on the bench, mm-hmm. Lee Miller's also on the bench today, because we're giving our new left winger a start. He's number 18 on kit numbers, but the like him is that, it's only the end of the season for now, and hopefully really in consistent of it. Ross County, Rob Ruddy's in goal. Number 13 on the bench, I see. Back four, mm, pretty strong. No new signings in that. Midfield, Don Cowie, I don't like him. Their front two, I think, is Brian Graham, Billy McKay, no, Stuart and McKay. Eamon Brofield kick off today's game. As guys, we return from our window experience. Our window experience has never seen this before. Very good signings that we brought in over January period. We're ready to get stuck into Premiership action. Here's that new winger. Signed him on a five and a half, four and a half year deal. It's a good ball in from the winger. The winger believes Richard Foster was holding him. There he is, the winger, 20 years old. Signed late last night to Kilmarnock on a four and a half, five and a half year deal. Loves Kilmarnock already. He's already spent right time around the shops. 
since they're running with eight hours to go. Come on, it go. I'm raking up the cash for the rest of this season as their season is never going to probably end with more defeats in a row as Kilmarnock have only suffered once league defeat so far this season and it came away in Aberdeen in o November or October and Eamon Brophy gives us the lead inside nine minutes as the new left winger he was involved in his brilliant new club as the new club for him just really it's really reflecting on it Eamon Brophy with his 18th Premiership goal of the season as we lead 1-0 here against Ross County at Rugby Park. Here at Rugby Park. As we sign a new defender on a three-year deal from Tottenham during the week. He starts on the bench today. Our new winger starts in place of Liam Miller. So Liam Miller I'm giving a chance on the bench to get rested. Here is the new winger, signed a five-year contract with us, and it's very good to see him. He might, he will be definitely here next season, since we might need him on the left. And Dominic Thomas will be out on the right, thank God. But Johnny Hayes will be sending to us in the summer anyway, so is Boric, the Bournemouth keeper. I means Bedescu might have to be the backup keeper. McGuinness, it's at Mirren. Okay, it's Carl McGuinness. Nathan Ferguson could have done a little bit better against Billy McKay there. Ferguson joined in August, uh, July I mean. And O'Donnell left us in January, so Ferguson's been now the main right back. Callum Waters I'm going to keep next season or I might sell him permanently. I just don't know what to do with Callum Waters yet. Because I might bring in Nico Hamelin in permanently and put Waters in a swap deal with him. Short Finley. Come on, Bonescu, do better! And Billy McKay! Come on, Nick! Come on, Nick! I don't think it, boys! Mm. Obviously, boys, we don't have a very big into our team anymore, as our team is really struggling to keep the ball out of our own net. And Billy McKay gives Ross County an equaliser. We're going to have to really tighten the scenario on it. That winger loves us already. No wonder signing for us on an incredible five-year deal. But it's good to see the winger really hoping to play a very lot more, a big margin of football at the moment. He's played already the full game so far, and here against Ross County in front of Nico Hamelainen. As Nico Hamelainen has not been really much missed at all this season. Well won by Alan Power. Good to see him back in the team. Mm -hmm. Pulling that 1-2-1 one, one win at St Johnson. But we shouldn't have conceded, but we did for a late penalty. And guys, we are back in front. We had to Ross County, same as Brophy. Talking away. Premiership goal number 19 for him since February. He's been in tremendous form. Since he scored a double eight, including the winner at Celtic Park back in September. His incredible form is never going to end at Rugby Park Honor. Good to see Ross County. Our fans are okay with this result, hopefully, because they know they are. Defo playing a very big top six side, as well as Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock, though, they don't have really, really much time before the window shuts. As this win the window was shut late last night. Kilmarnock make two enforcements into their stride. New signing playing today, new centre back from Spurs. Starting on the bench, maybe you'll come on later on if I decide to do it. So Elanusi just put the ball in the back of that for Celtic. The new Kilmarnock winger only lucky. He's had a five-year deal with us late last night on transfer deadline day. Loved his new club already. He's been looking around the science centre lately. Uh, he went downtown shopping during the week when he was coming in his medical with Alan Power, actually. Power and him are becoming very, 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 very good friends. Since he's only been here a couple of days. And Power's been here all season. Sakadu goes down the town every weekend when Kilmarnock um, are not playing. Uh, he goes up down with Eamon Brophy and El McCreaney. El McCreaney didn't go in January 
but Kilmarnock are thinking about still getting rid of him over the camp summer. John Hayes and Boric will both be joining Kilmarnock at the end of the campaign. Until then, they're at Bournemouth and Celtic. So Kilmarnock and Truman up at the break for a double. Remain broke for that new left winger is doing all right. Kilmarnock fans are deeply impressed. Vivian Brophy's been since that late double when Kilmarnock the game at Celtic Park in September. I just don't see him really a matter of getting sold over the rest of the season. So guys, we're winning 2-1. Celtic are winning, Hibernian are winning, Motherwell are winning, Rangers are winning and Hearts are winning. But we're winning 2-1 uh, against Ross County at Robbie Park. It's good to see us doing super, super well. But that new winger has to really think about his game. Brophy's our man of the match so far. But that new winger just has to think about his future. He might get sold in the summer instantly. Pippi and Philippa. They could both be heading back to their clubs. They're on loan from us. At us until the end of the season. They might both be going back in, ap in April time. Because I'm not really concerned about Pippi. He's doing pretty sh rubbish. And then that striker. Obviously he is the backup. Striker Gazamin Brophy will never, never stop at being in the team because it's really his livelihood playing for us. Power. Finds Nico Hammerlinen. Out to that winger. What a ball in that would have been. So Celtic are cruising away to Hamilton. Celtic are well top of the table at the moment. I just don't know what's going to go on for the last remainder of weeks. That winger wants it and gets it from Zakadu. Zakadu into that winger. He's beautiful. What a dance. And what a dancing move. He's a very, very good man. It's the sign to Kilmarnock late last night on a five-year contract over Kilmarnock. The boys from Rugby Park. Now we have only done. His name is Ross Anderson. Nico Hamalina and back to Badescu. Oh Jesus, guys. Badescu has considered again, so it looks like we might have to really make a couple of enforcements into it. Means Lyle or Kubicic might be getting a start in the next couple of weeks because of there's really not any clean sheets lately. Not any clean sheets lately for Badescu. Badescu is really hoping the new signings will work harder as well. Get themselves involved. As he's tired and boredly of being in a team that really good play, good football. The Miller will be on shortly for Kilmarnock for Chris Burke. Burke's hoping to really not play anymore football at the moment. That winger is really hoping to really retain his place in the Killy squad. Unlucky from Alan Perrineau. Perrineau scored a few weeks ago. He's loving life back at Robbie Park. Chris Burke will be replaced. Will Burke by Pippi. Pippi is coming on for Buck with 20 minutes to go. Pippi is going back to Real Sociedad. Gone on into the season, but he is going back to Real Sociedad. He's having the greatest prize. Going back to Real Sociedad from his loan spell at us tomorrow night. This will be his last game for the club. Hopefully, not any more signings. That winger is pretty good at corners and might retain a place in the Kelly squad for next week. Jesus, Dicker surely didn't mean to do that on Billy McKay there. Guys, we're really going to have to be watching Ross County. Look at this, we don't have anyone back nearly. The two Shannon marks I'm very proud of. Oh Jesus, fellas, oh fellas. Stuart Finley knocks it out for a corner. But Dicker, he ends up in the yellow card notebook. Gary Dicker, for what he did earlier there. Gary Dicker, I'm very proud, very proud to see Dicker in very... Oh, Dicker, oh, Nico Hammerlinen. Beats that well off the line as Badescu. I cannot believe in how much Badescu has been conceding lately. Now, guys, we're on the attack at the moment. Oh, Dicker out to our superb winger. It's good to see him really working hard since he's loved every moment of playing for us. He's a brilliant standard winger. 
He's joining Brentford at the end of the season alone for a year, but he'll still be our player now because he's loving every moment of every game. Minutes he's playing, playing. Amen Brophy is going to replace by Philippine, and it looks like it's time for a sub as well. Nico Hamalainen is going to replace by that new defender who arrived from Spurs also late last night. So on we go, all right, to see what Nico Hamalainen has done and said to his manager about nothing really. And hopefully that Spurs man can do what the rest for the rest of the campaign and starts in centre back one day. Here he goes already. What a ball. That winger, he's got some dancing moves on him. Lee Miller's actual poor winger right now at the moment for Kelly. No Kelly. Oh Jesus, what a pass! As that player's coming on the left back, he's doing superb. Come on, Nick. Well done from the Kelly boys! And Philippine! Scores his first killing goal since Johnny Olam from Son until the end of the season. Kamarnik made a total of nine signings over the window. And Philippi, Philippi, Philippi. With his first Kamarnik goal, it's good to see him in Kamarnik colours. I don't see him really appreciating just being on loan. Since Killing could really be doing the striker next season and Rodney thinks about leaving. But Kilmarnock are trying to defile, destroy Ross County in the last few minutes. That winger always oh, passed Foster well. Yeah, honestly, it's been great stuff from Kilmarnock. And Kilmarnock will go to Poland to every signing they've made to continue their season. DeFabro and Dicker have been here the whole campaign. It's never going to end for Kilmarnock. That's Kilmarnock. Oh, it's the Kelly boys, Billy McKay over a low move, maybe possibly to Kilmarnock at the end of the window, but it broke down. But it's good to see the Kelly boys really work hard when they got players in the box. So guys, Eamon Brophy gave us the lead in so nine minutes, as Eamon Brophy scored yet another Premiership goal. And Billy McKay instantly equalised. David Brophy then made it 2-1 with his 19th Premiership goal of this season. As Philippine and Pippi did well together since they're both going back to the printing clubs at the end of the season as they're both loving Kelly. David Brophy is man of the match. Oh, real. So guys, we won. Celtic won. Hibs won. Mullower one, Rangers one, and so does Hearts. The guys, we have conceded once again. We might have to play another keeper at some point in the next couple of weeks. At least we're winning games still. I just couldn't start him because it was new and he came on at left back and actually out of 8 10. I think he did an absolute superb 9. And then the winger really is dramatically. It's clearly why we bought him, because he's a new signing, Eamon Brophy. Overall great performance from all the team, especially Eamon Brophy, it's good to get the signings in. Eamon Brophy did not leave us in the window, he stayed with us. <laughs> I don't see Brophy really getting much more goals at this season stage. But look at that top three. The top three is so intense when Celtic are domestically going to try and do something. We play with hearts today. So guys, we've got some news. Kovacic. Kovacic, we're giving him a start in goal at Hearts today. Well, Benescu is the sub keeper 
Yeah, just got a couple of rumors and really try and find him what we can do. But it's really, really going to be poor if we lose here tonight. But it's good to see Badesco is on the bench just in case we need him. Here's a man, bro, Fane, 19 Premiership goals! There's Eamon Brophy, the top goal scorer in the league, 24 games played. He's the top goal scorer in the league with 19 goals, one ahead of Edward. So guys, we have Lerner Badescu on the bench tonight. So Kovacic is in goal, making his debut for us at Tyne Castle tonight. Hopefully he can do and keep a clean sheet, maybe. Yeah, but we are since Kovacic signed in January, an uh, extra one-year contract to have us to continue what he could do. There he is. He's warming up already in his Kilmarnock gloves as he's ready to make a full-team debut and try and work in the prem and try and work in the Premiership and try and win us a goal game. As we're hoping, Meg Pedescu will not leave us over the window. Here's the Hearts, 11 for tonight, it's Pereira and goal, Samal is on the bench, I see Manoon standing on the bench, I see as well, uh, Hickey, Hackett, or Sutter and Smith, midfield free, Lee, Clare and Haring, front free is lethal apartments, you know, Naismith and Morrison, Naismith is their captain, oh my goodness, we must keep a depth an eye on Naismith and mark him very cleanly. So guys, we've made one change from the Ross County win. Uh, Benesco is on the bench, so I'm giving Kovacic his debut goal. So Benesco is on the bench for the trip to Time Castle. The back four is staying the same. That's what we made a two changes anyway. Our winger number 88 is back on the bench. Uh, and Liam Miller is ruled back in the 11 that I'm hoping will never do anything bad. But hopefully Kovacic can do well at Time Castle and avoid Hearts a big showdown. Let's go. Here come Hearts already on the attack force. They really struggled against us this season, but we've almost conceded almost against them since it's really difficult to break to keep an eye on them. Here's Lee Miller rolled out for the Ross County game because. It has dropped him out of the 11 and played our new winger who we signed on deadline day. The Miller. Six or seven goals for him this Premiership. Scottish Cup in a couple of weeks' time. Scottish Cup, I think we are in the weekend. So we're away to hearts tonight in the Scottish Premiership. As we are ready to get Tessel under the flood like Tit and Castle. Zakadu. Lays it off for Gary Dicker. Deflected behind for the corner. Chris Park's been ruled back in recently games. Brophy! It's not Brophy, it's Lee Miller, he's really complaining. Lee Miller and... Oh, Strip Finley could have done something against Naismith. Oh, she do So guys... The front three is so identical, it's very good. All the Premiership teams are in action tonight. Really want to stay in second place, we do. We really want to give up Celtic some points. Lee Miller, hopefully you don't do anything nasty. Oh, Jesus, guys. Morrison, what a run. Dicker to the Fabro. Now Kovacic, run up the park on debut. This is debut. It's going all right. He's not even had an effort at him. But if he does, he hopefully makes the save. Nico Hamelainen, penalty hearts. I don't know if it's a penalty or a free kick. It's a free kick, cover six as well. That's not in the penalty area. Good ball in from Lee. Good back post ball. Well won by the hearts man. Eamon Brofield try and run after it. No free kick in the end. Hearts are really trying to push to go in front Naismith came in with the effort but headed over by well defended headed over by the Fabros Kovacic is maybe making his premiership debut and really hoping his debut does not go as bad as Badescu's debut kind of did he meant Brophy still Broth 
St Mirren are losing 1-0 to Hamilton and honestly I don't really care about that result all I only care is about the Rangers and Celtic results we're drawing 0-0 at Time Castle as we have a corner Chris Buck swings one in good ball in looks for DeFabro power finds DeFabro shoot Finlay Stuart Finlay sets up that man! Stuart Finlay scored one goal this season, Stuart Finlay. Almost the first goal of the season for De Fabro. De Fabro is hoping to really retain it. It's still Hearts 0, Kilmarnock 0. They're drawing 0 0 here at Time Castle, here in Edinburgh. Instead of the. I think we've got a Scottish Cup game this weekend, I believe. Copperstead might have to play in the Scottish Cup. Mm. Ferguson, what a ball out to Liam Miller. It's good to see Miller back playing football again. Wasn't it with injury at all? He was just been rested. And Miller scores. And we are 1 0 up at Town Castle. Liam Miller. Liam Miller scores. And it's a superb assist from right back Nathan Ferguson, who's loved every moment since playing for us. Liam Miller. With his seventh Premiership goal after 33 first half minutes, we're one up at Time Castle. Superb assist from right back Nathan Ferguson, who's a very big steel foot back. So Rangers are one down, and I Brox Fankers can Berry and thank you can Berry. I'm very happy about that one. The Kamarnik number four is Sunday in summer Bulgaria. There he is, considering retirement. He's not even played a game since he signed. Since Kamarnik are not going to be ruling him in until the, possibly the last week of the Premier of the Premiership season. They really want to put out a week 11 for the last week. Tech for Mamie Brophy not being ruled out of Chris Buck since we Buck's last appearance for Kelly. So guys, Eamon Brophy has just given us a 2-0 lead here at Time Castle. Brophy is the first Premiership player to uh, 25 games played from Brophy. And uh, that's his 20th Premiership goal. That's him now reached 20 league goals this Premiership season for Eamon Brophy. It's good to see him returning. Very nice scuttles. He scored 25 Scottish Premiership goals, Eamon Brophy. Aberdeen and St Johnson are drawing 1-1 at Bataudry. Matthew Kennedy, ha ha, well done my man. Nathan Ferguson, couldn't do anything there, hearts, heart of a load in. Cobra says, put it away! It's good to get it away, isn't it, but come on it! How the hell is it, new, keep, new, new keeper Cobra says, not even conceded on his debut. Well blocked in there by DeFabro. Kovacic knows the defenders are really working hard. Eh? Not be like Benescu. The fans believe Benescu is the worst keeper that they have as Lyle and Kovacic are way better. And Kovacic, the commandant keeper since tonight, has kept a clean sheet in this first half. So he's doing okay. Commandant fans have travelled the time. Castle for are happy. Nate Smith has been a little bit deadly. Guys, we are winning here. Now at 2-0 against Hawks. Aberdeen are drawing 1-1 against Johnson. Celtic are beating Manuel. Rangers are getting beat by Hibernian. Ross County are getting beat by Livingston. And Hamilton are winning 1-1 against Men. Rangers are getting beat by uh, Hibs. Though. That's a shock result. As we could really retain second. Mm-hmm. Eamon Brophy and Liam Miller. It's good to see them doing well. Ferguson got a superb goal assist at the park to Liam Miller. So guys, Rangers are still getting beat. We can go. We can go ahead of. We will still be ahead of Rangers. We will be in second still. We'll still be one point behind Celtic, and we'll be four points clear of third place Rangers because they're getting beat by Hibernian and Ibrox one nil. We beat Rangers on Boxing Day. Our only defeat was a away trip in a two three two defeat after a late winner from Cosgrove and a three two defeat away to Aberdeen. But since then, we have not even lost a single match. So Celtic are convincibles, I thought it was Murrell that scored, but Celtic are back 2-0 up and look like they're three points on the road at Murrell.
is going on so far so good. Alan Power finds Liam Miller! And Liam Miller! It was real out. In a game in the weekend against Ross County, he was on the bench as the new left winger was making his debut after signing on deadline day late. But it's very, very intentional to get your players all warmed up and ready for the trip to very good games. I think we are in the Scottish Cup action this weekend, so no Scottish um, Premiership duty will be involved, but I think we're in the Cup. I don't know. can't remember. Here's Naismith to Fabro, what a block! And that's the Fabro's third block of the evening since we're actually incredible to continue our fine clean sheeting so far at Tancastle. Here's Chris Burke, very nice to get him a goal tonight. There's Burke, goes on the Killy fans, Burke! Oh, fans of Killy are like, oh no, Burke's is at the post. Morrison. Well won Mike DeFabro, but can he go on and win it again? Good ball in. Kovacic away. Get back on your line, Kovacic. What a save by Kovacic. A buck. Can now run a buck scores. Kovacic, the goalkeeper, gets the assist. Don't think even Benescu has got an assist this season. Buck. Buck. As Kovacic will not. He will not get the assist, but Chris Buck has said Kovacic's goalkeeper should get the assist to that one. As Chris Buck, I cannot believe it. His retiring end of the season is Buck, who claims his sixth Premiership goal of the season. The guy has time for some substitutions at the moment. We're going to bring on Dominic Thomas in the midfield. And guys, we're going to bring off Stuart Finley for the centre back we signed from Spurs. He came on at left back and did very well. Last time out against Ross County. We'll see what he can do with the Fabro. But Buck claims his sixth for this season. Kopicic is doing well, keeping the clean sheet on his debut as well for us in goal. Ross County are going to be turn all the but God, we see Sally see him about Stuart Finley for the rest of this game. Hopefully, guys, we are really hoping to really have a lot of games up until this time. As Nathan Ferguson believes every moment of Kilmarnock Football Club is good for him. Here's the centre back. He's crucial for Kilmarnock already. Good to see Dominic Thomas on in midfield instead of coming on for Buck. Ferguson, well won. Ferguson, I don't know what we're going to do with him tonight. He's incredible performances. Performance tonight has been good. Here's Bucky. Look for Dominic Thomas, who's a future right wing. But Buck retiring at the end of the season still. He's still open to joining us again. De Fabro finds Dicker. Here comes the man we signed from Spurs on deadline day. Mm -hmm. Good to see. Oh, he's forward well. Oh, he can't really get into the box now. He's going to have to run all the way back. And hopefully, maybe somebody can defend it well. Ferguson, come on. Just watch your tackles, okay? Here's Ryan for them hearts. They whip it in. Oh, it almost went in. Guys, we're going to bring off uh, Alan Power for El McCready. Our new winger is not coming on again for a little bit of football. Tafabro has been bright all evening. I don't know what I would do without him. No wonder clubs were in talks with him in January. I think that's Dicker's through ball. Nice. Miller! Lee Miller with his eight for the season. He claims his second of the evening. And guys, a stunning 4-0 win at St. Castle for us is on the charge tonight. I don't know, I've not heard from the Rangers' results since 
If we'd run up, they might have done it. But you never know because we're full of winners in Castle. <laughs> McCreeney. And guys, a stunning 4 0 win in Edinburgh for a double from Lee Miller, one for Brophy, and one for Bucky. Bucky! A couple of sets there, he's making his debut goal. He kept a clean sheet on his debut, so I'm very proud of the goalkeeper who might play if we're in the cup this weekend. Lee Miller, it's going to bring him back in. He came back in tonight, Lee Miller, and he played the full 90 minutes. I'm very good to playing football again, as that's what Lee Miller will think. He'll think, oh, I'm so glad to be back playing football again. Lee Miller got a beautiful pass up the park from Nathan Ferguson, who is crucial in the signing bonus. Eamon Brophy made it 2-0, seven minutes later with his 20th Premiership goal. Chris Buck scored his sixth Premiership goal of the season on 69 minutes after it was a beautiful goal. And Lee Miller tapped in another goal, this time the assist came from Gary Dicker, his club captain, and Lee Miller was beautiful with the finish. Lee Miller of a superb man of the match performance. As it was good to see what Lee Miller had done. All over heart. So guys, we have won. Celtic have won as well. Aberdeen St. Johnson's 2 all. Hibs have beaten Rangers and Ibrox. And Ross County have lost to Livingston and Hamilton and won at St. Mirren. So guys, we won 4 0 at Time Castle. Hibs have beaten Rangers and Ibrox 2 1. So we are four points clear in second. An impressive performance from Liam Miller. Liam Miller did play well out for the film 90 minutes tonight. We're not on beach, remember, but we have really only lost one game. Thank you for your time. Starting 4 0 at Time Castle. She does. Very good form now. So guys, now four points clear in second we are. It's also Celtic. But guys, our next game is against Rangers Aberdeen. I mean, Celtic play Hearts, but we play Rangers at Celt Rugby Park. It's hopefully really to extend our lead to away from Rangers to seven points, but it's really going to have to be a bit different. But guys, it's really increasing all to be second ahead of going on to Wednesday night. Over these transfer talks we were in in January. As I'm ready for my press conference for the third meeting with Rangers this year. Draw and win the line, Brock. We got lost now, mate. The whole squad can help us. I'm ready for my third game in charge against Range. My third. Amen, Brophy! Amen, Brophy! He scores and he wants! So, guys, we have to make a couple of changes for today's night's game against Rangers at Rugby Park. Benesco is still not playing. Kovacic kept a clean sheet last time out, so he starts in goal. Benesco is on the bench, though. Okay, remember that. Uh, also, um, to tell you the truth, Eamon Brophy, um, we have rolled him out and seen Innes Cameron get a start tonight. Hopefully, Eamon Brophy will not be sadly missed, but will be uh, on the bench will aim in Brophy maybe they come on later tonight also Zakado he is not also involved Dominic Thomas will play there mm -hmm. as we're hoping this maybe a couple of team changes will be alright Stuart Finlay he's also not involved he's also on the bench is Stuart Finlay mm -hmm. it's really sad to put some of our best players on the bench mm -hmm. Also, guys, we've got some news as well. Uh, means tonight, uh, uh -huh, as well. 
Uh, it's a bit sad as well, but it's also a little bit sad to see that Nico Hamalainen is not involved tonight. Liam Miller will be going to play left back, so um, that uh, winger can start tonight. Liam Miller, he um, is starting at left back though. Uh, uh -huh. So a very weaker kind of team ahead of tonight's incredible game with Rangers. We're really going to have to really pump up our game if we really want to beat them tonight. So guys, if Lee Miller's playing left back, he can maybe run up the line and score. Lee Miller is playing left back for us tonight, guys. We're going to show you the team news against Rangers for the third league meeting. We drew 1-1 with them here on the opening day of the season, and then we won 1-0 at their ground on Boxing Day, a day after Christmas. We've got four players warming up as our team news hasn't really got involved tonight as we're ready to prepare Rangers. They have also four players nicely warming up here at Rugby Park. I don't see Maleros still. But guys, we're ready for a clear night at Rugby Park. Mm -hmm. Guys, at the weekend, we're here against Hibs. We might have to keep the same 11. I will involve my 11 when you see it, guys. We are ready to prepare for it. After the 4-0 win at Time Castle, Rangers lost to Hibs last summer. We win, we win this, guys. We're still in second, but if we win this, we will pull. We will get Rangers seven points behind us as we are crucially in second. Tonic still catch league leader Celtic, though. who are still only a point ahead of us. Four goals in the last three minutes. Games for the foe. Rangers have brought a large travelling support down to Rugby Park. It's never going to be easy when you're playing Rangers. Greg Stewart, I see, is playing as well this evening. Mm -hmm. For me, is the manager obviously still. I just hope that you guys will be okay and say so on playing incredible football of getting back involved. It's good to see. The rake of players that are getting to start an opposition and playing tonight against Rangers. We're really hoping you guys will be sensational by the performance of play. Let's go to our team here. So guys, Kovacic kept a clean sheet at Time Castle on the 4-0 win, so he starts in nets again. Lee Miller, he is playing left back tonight is Lee Miller. Well, Talent and Tango is in as well. Have a first two players on the bench. Uh, Thomas is midfield and says this afternoon. The front three is awful, except from Chris Buck, but Zimmerlo and Dennis Cameron will start tonight. For Rangers, they're strong 11. Sees Alan McGregor starts in goal. On the bench, Batisic, Havler, Golson, and Tavernier. Orfield, Hubzar, and Jock. And they're Kent and Stewart and Defoe up front. But guys, we're going to have to really try and get the past. They're back four with a kind of weaker front three. Alvinus Cameron, Zamalo and Chris Buck. Lee Miller, he is playing tonight, but he's playing left back. As Nico Hamalainen is on the bench tonight. So is Stuart Finlay and big Kilmarnock striker, Amen Brophy. Here's Buck. He really likes the fans when we return to rugby park action. That's a barge. Our fans are complaining, so Rangers fans, I think we've got a corner anyway. Guys, we do have a corner, Buck went down, no penalty given. We have a lot of men forward, Strip Finlay is not involved, not forward because he's on the bench. Uh, Hamline's on the bench, so Lee Miller's playing left back in tonight's formation. Brophy's also on the bench, and she's in his camera and getting a start tonight, in for Buck. Punched away by McGregor. Now, Greg, now Dominic Thomas playing in midfield while Zakadu is dropped out onto the bench as well. And his Cameron got in the way. Dominic Thomas is shot. And his Cameron making his first start of the season. He was on loan for the first part of the season until January. And then came back to us and is only making his first start of the season since so returning from his loan. A month later, there's power in his Cameron. He's them alone. Could have done better. Tavernier's on him tonight. Aberdeen are winning 1-0 on Hamilton. Here's Ryan Kent. Well won by the man we signed from Spurs. Making his actual first start tonight. In the starting 11, Lee Miller's play at left back. So Lee Miller has something to focus a little bit. Since I'm playing a kind of a rotation, rotation, rotation 11 for a big game. Against Rangers especially, playing lots of backup players. It's good to see Chris Buck still involved. Lots of our January signings. Some of them are actually on the bench. Oh Jesus. 
Here's Kovacic, made his debut against Hearts and kept a clean sheet in the 4-0 win at the Town Castle. Now back at Robbie Park against Rangers. Can he keep a clean sheet tonight? Possibly, maybe. Greg Stroop's offside. De Fabro takes the free kick into him. Now Liam Miller, he might be playing left back over Nico Hamelainen but it doesn't stop him getting forward that's what he said to him myself in the tunnel he said I might be playing left back boss but he said I will still get forward and Lee Miller gets a shot tonight Lee Miller gets a, his first shot leading Lee Miller is playing left back with Nico Hamelainen on the bench as I have rotation 11 tonight Buck still whips in dangerous good ball in a dicker he will never probably replaced since dicker is our captain, he's been injured a couple of times, once this season, Dicker, but been in since, let's see, the beginning, middle of December, and it's kind of the middle of February time, so the season's well, um, got games, lots of games to go, Scottish Cup, we are really not really hoping for that. So St Mariner beating Livingston in the well done, we really gave. It's good to see Ennis Cameron get a wee shot on goal there as he's delightful that he's returned. As Dominic Thomas is playing in centre attacking mid for this evening's game so far. Here's Lee Miller playing left back in tonight's incredible game against Rangers, oh Jesus, he normally would be on, Tabernier would normally be marking him, Kilmarnock, a man playing a rotation 11, kind of for tonight, incredible game against Rangers at Rugby Park, but it's 0-0 and we're actually keeping an eye on them, Ferguson, you could do something better there, to Fabro, what have you gone and done? As guys, the Fabro's on the mark did Bali there on the foe. The foe will take the free kick, but the Fabro doesn't care. Rangers have not even had any shots against us this evening, so Kovacic, our goalkeeper for tonight again, hasn't really had much trouble to deal with. Benescu probably would have. Ticker. Jesus guys, we're really going. In the second half, we are drawing no at half time. In the second half, we must triumph for the rest of the evening. But the evening is really getting bad for our fans. I think they're going to start booing me off the pitch at half time at this rate for playing a really weak 11. Here's Dominic Thomas, maybe 1 0. McGregor got done well again. It's really tempting. Did you want to beat Rangers? It is Cameron. Oh my god, Alan McGregor. I don't see us beating him tonight, but Linus Cameron is going to see him making his first start for the club this season. It's really good to see him back in it. Buck's been the most talented all evening so far. Good ball in McGregor away. Thomas heads it downwards. Alan Power! Alan Power! Saved by Alan McGregor again. Our fans are jumping because we have a corner just before the break. Rangers, I don't know what's going on, but Alan McGregor is punching everything away. Thomas on his strong left foot. Good ball in. Dicker's almost there. Here's Ryan Kent into Jermaine Defoe. Ferguson, hopefully, no! Jesus, boys, this is really, really tempting mode. Not. Oh, well done, guys! We're all over them with a kind of a week 11 tonight to them playing in this evening's game. Our fans are kind of not booing, they're kind of happy. But they'll probably be unhappy that we've not even scored from all the chances we've had in Rangers are really going to have to really avoid us in the second half. Mm -hmm. So guys, we are drawing down over Rangers. Celtic are beating Hearts. 2-0. Uh, uh, Aberdeen are winning at Hamilton. Aberdeen are winning against Ross County. Livingston are drawing 1-1 with St. Mary and St. Johnson and Mullow are drawing 1-1. We are drawing 0-0 with Rangers at Rugby Park. We're all over them though, but the possession is 50-50, but our shots are well better. Hey uh, guys, Lee Miller is still playing the left-back role. Lee Miller is actually our man of the match so far. But guys, 
Rotation 11 and a put out, it's still on the pitch, it's very good, I had a team talk with the boys over the break to say come on boys, really work harder and try and get a goal, possibly. Scott Arfield, well won by Dominic Thomas, I don't know why I never have a faith in to play him in the starting 11 normally, Chris Buck is normally always ahead of him. Celtic are have signed a January signing I see. We play Celtic at some point in the next couple of weeks at Celtic Park. Ferguson unlucky, Defoe could have scored, but well turned well by Alan Power. And guys, we're on the opportunity. Buck is there. Uh, oh, Bucky, can he go on? It's yes, Bucky can. Buck, this is to silence. Rangers fans on the other end. Oh, we've done it. Chris Buck might have seen us get a clutching three points as the evening. Look at that, boys! For Dominic Thomas has got the assist! Dawson gonna keep up with Bucky! Bucky! And Buck scores nine minutes in to the second half for us at Rugby Park! Oh. And it looks like three points is heading for us! But guys, we need to hold on! Oh, Jesus! Kent, he's in the middle! Oh, Jesus, it's our field! And Kovacic chips in over the bar. That would be an Esco, no, would have went in. But Kovacic has remained well and do well in training to retain his premiership status. Good ball in. Rangers. Boarded, scored. But Kovacic flew himself across. And it's good to see him really loving football. Obviously, especially for Ross Barisic. Oh, Jesus, thank God that went over. Rangers fans believe that they probably should have scored earlier today, tonight, but we have already hoping to retain it. Our rotation 11 is keeping the lead for now. Lee Miller into Dominic Thomas. Oh, Thomas, what a run. Well on Dominic Thomas. Lee Miller's on the edge of the area. And Lee Miller will probably silence those strolling supportive Rangers. Lee Miller. Who I'm playing at left back this evening's game. Why? Because we want to play a rotation 11 ahead of Hibs coming here this weekend. Liam Miller, he may be playing left back, but he won't go. He will go up the park and try and grab himself a goal, and he does it. Guys, shortly, um, Eamon Brophy will be coming on shortly for Ennis Cameron. Ennis Cameron will go, uh, I mean, for Dominic Thomas, and then Ennis Cameron will go back, and Brophy will go up the park. Eamon Brophy would love to be back in the 11 for the Hibs game, but we might have to play another rotation. 11 for that game. Set from goalkeeper, that's not a rotational goalkeeper. He's never loved every moment of us playing football with him lately. Here's Ennis Cameron, he's very, very slow, I think. That's why we might have to sum him off, since he's a big man, but he is not capable of playing for the club. The longest minutes. Kovacic saves as we are keeping the clean sheet still. Oh, what a ball from De Fabro. Finds that winger looking for his first Kilmarnock goal. He's loved every moment since signing to us. Golson, can he keep up with him? Oh, yes, he can. But, guys, we have a stunning man up front to come on shortly. I don't want to reveal. <coughs> 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 oh, sorry guys. I don't know what I was doing now. Hey right guys, we're going to bring our name in Brophy up front, actually, and uh, putting his camera in there. And also, guys, we're going to bring off that winger and then um, bring on Pippi. The Miller's going to still play left back for now. But yeah, we're just trying to rotation, not get the rotation eleven any more down of it. Here's Dominic Thomas, finds in his Cameron, maybe a goal for him, he's pretty slow. He goal almost past McGregor, then he said fuck off. 
Celtic are cruising against Hearts. We are beating Rangers 2-0. We have defiled on this, especially with rotation, with a rotation 11 that we have that I did pick for the rest of the game. Well, one Fabro, Thomas, Decker. Here's Dominic Thomas. It's just been subbed off anyway. Dominic Thomas, no goals this season for Dominic Thomas Muchley. As it's really time for Eamon Brophy show to come back on and play against Rangers. Maybe Eamon Brophy can find the back of the net. Here's Pepe. Finds Eamon Brophy. And it's Cameron. Defo finds Eamon Brophy. Jesus boys. Eamon Brophy done my bit of first time in a while. He hasn't scored in. Oh and guys. Eamon Brophy came off the bed but didn't score but it's okay. We have a rotation 11. Hey guys, we have a rotation 11 and we still beat in Rangers. I'm very happy to become the manager of such a great club at the days. Ennis <laughs> Cameron played an incredible full 90 minutes. On his return, and Buck and Miller, I'm very happy for both of them. Rangers could never deal with Chris Buck all evening. <laughs> Jean Kubrovich, I can't believe he actually saved and kept another stunning clean sheet. As our goalkeeper, Jan Kubrovich, played two games and he's kept, and both of them both clean sheets. Yeah, so he's improving. He's actually done very marksman in goal. The Miller man of the match at left back. Very good performances from all of the team that are in the rotation 11 for tonight's incredible game. The guys, we won, Celtic obviously won, Aberdeen won, Hibs won, and St Mirren won, and St Johnson Motherwell drew. Do all but uh, Kubasic has played two games for us against Hearts and against Rangers, and he's not considered a goal in both of them. So we keep in the clean sheet still, but we're playing against Rangers at Rugby Park. So, guys, they're asking me why Stuart Finlay didn't play. I just dropped him out on the bench to go tell it. Then go on a start tonight, and Stuart Finlay really didn't want to be involved. So guys, I think the boys played incredibly well. But guys, it's really good anyway. I just can't believe how much our second place is going. So guys, we have another team press confidence falling. They went over Rangers here midweek. I uh, played a rotation 11 now, but we might have to go back to a strong 11 ahead of tonight. Today's game. Thank, Thank you for attending. Thank you for your questions. questions. I, I promise, promise I'll start, start with, with you next. As Kubasic is never going to be ever a backup in uh, Mindly, as you really, really want to play him tonight. Today, I mean. As it's really, really good to get a backup keeper, a really good starting position. Nico Hamelainen, can't believe he wasn't playing. Dafabro and Finlay, can't believe as well. This man has been brilliant for joining us. Connor Johnson as well. Ferguson has been brilliant. As you guys just don't know how much Eamon Brophy believes in his loving form. Uh huh. And this Cameron's only played one game for us, it was the full 90 minutes he played especially. Guys, I now need to pick my 11 that I'm going to be filling here against the Bernie and at Rugby Park. After that week game against Rangers. Mm-hmm, I'm just about to name my 11 that I want involved. Mm-hmm. 
So guys, Chris Burke, he's not on the bench or starting today. We're going to get Dominic Thomas to start out on the right wing. Chris Burke, I'm going to give a bit of a rest. So, to his Kovacic starts in goal again. And Eamon Brophy is actually playing out on the right wing all up front tonight. Uh, today is Ennis Cameron again. It's hopefully Brophy can do well out wide anyway. Mm -hmm. Also, Ferguson is playing centre back with Stuart Finlay. The Fabio's on the bench, so Pippi plays it right back as Pippi is hoping to really control his efforts. Also, Alan Power, he's not involved tonight either. Why? There's a reason for it. The reason is because that midfield to send it back to Sam from Tottenham is in midfield tonight and today and hopefully going to do well. Alan Power, can't believe, being dropped out onto the bench again for a couple of weeks in a row. It's really, really poor. Also, Chris Buck is sitting on the bench to Connor Johnson. Is in his Philippine. Can't make it, but kind of rotational 11, rotation 11 again. Also, Nico Hamalainen. He has actually not been rolled out today. Lee Miller, some news about him. He has been rolled out of the 11 tonight following his goal was superb in midweek but it's good to see him back in really hoping to never be involved again for Kelly. Nico Hamelin is back in! Here's Nico Hamelin and Strip Finlay. Hello? Jamie? Do you guys we're here Robbie Park again against Sibernian? Mm hmm guys we beat them just rolled last time out. And we're hoping to really get another win against them. Uh, but guys, it's very sensational. I'm playing a rotation 11 against Rangers midweek. Still 1 2 0. But guys, Kubasic, our backup keeper, still in goal after two games. He's played. He's kept both in both games clean sheets, as Badescu cannot believe it. Look at this, guys. I wonder who Rangers and Celtic are both up against today. We're seven points clear in second. We are. Hibs are going to try and catch Rangers, though. Cover stitches in goal, Hamelin and Fer Finley Ferguson and Pippi in the back four. Midfield, Zachary, Zagalui and Dicker. And the front three is Zemelin in his camera and Amid Brophy. That's a really kind of weak front three for us, especially. But guys, it's only going to be a much of time until all, all our normal 11 are back and ruled in for myself. Mm hmm. A burn in, their goalkeeper might be Marciano. It is Marciano. <laughs> No new settings on the bench. Uh, James, Hallen, Porteous and Naismith. Halberg there. Midfield there is Malin and Vera Vela. Uh, Scott Allen's ahead of them. And Camberry and Christine Doyds lead the attack for Hibernian. We've got a kind of rotation 11 again. Why? Because we're really going to have to really keep these players going. Nico Hamelin, it's good to see him back. Lee Miller's not involved today. Now here's Pippi playing it right back today. Buck's also rolled out onto the bench. With Alan Power also on the bench. Here's Brophy. Finds Gary Dicker. Could be Brophy's final appearance here at Robbie Park. Because he really is talking about leaving us. Even Buck. So guys, Chris Buck wouldn't even win as a free kick like that. 
Bucks Norman sitting the frickets, but he's on the bench, so Brophy whips one in, looking for his first assist mostly of this season is Eamon Brophy looking to be the new Chris Bucks for Finlay. Oh, what an awkward injury, hopefully not anything. And starting a one up in Aberdeen. Aberdeen, I thought you were going to do something today against Celtic. So we one minute, guys. So, guys, we're back. All on Stuart Finlay there. Jesus, boys, look at this really, really kind of terrible football we are playing. I was such big looking for his third clean sheet in a row since he's been playing for the club. Really never doubting him. Guys, we're going skiing today. The boys were great. You know what that is. So guys, we are one time the team has never been sensational. And Celtic are one up in Aberdeen, guys. And guys, we are one down at home to Berlin. We'll let Cam Berry score. His 14th Scottish Premiership goal of the season so far. Our top goal scorer is Brophy with 12, 20 in the league. And Brophy is playing but out wide. Also, Lee Miller is not in starting 11 today. Link played left back and scored a goal in midweek here against Rangers. As we're back into very getting some good first team players in. We're back into more rotation 11s. Here's Eamon Brophy again against James. Eamon Brophy one day could be the new Chris Buck. Good ball in. Ferguson, you could have done a little bit better since he's playing centre back. Hips are really pushing it. But guys, we're, we're just going to have to really retain our second place status. Ernest Cameron has told Sky Sports that he wants to leave on potentially over the summer period. But it depends what I'm sort of mood of getting rid of him is the answer. I might just let him go out alone again until January and hopefully maybe come back and play some football since he's really hoping to really retain a bunch in Queen's Bunch. Hopefully maybe Chris. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't think who my player of the year is yet but I've uh, got a couple of options on it. Eamon Brophy is definitely one of them and so is Chris Buck and Liam Miller since they could get the award. But the award for best saying so far I would say he probably has been that Zakadu guy. It was practically our first summer signing. Ferguson, he's been actually a very good signing, but lately he's not been the greatest. First, be our best January signing. What about that winger? Because he's had the most minutes of football. Best goalkeeper so far, probably been Bonesco because of appearances, but Kubasic is doing well though. Losing 1 0 to a burning we are. He made Brophy. Gets it from Dicker. Can Brophy maybe? Shabblage. The equalizer. No, right, not in front of the hip support. He made Brophy looking to score his 21st league goal of the Premiership. Him and Innes Cameron have not even played up front together this season. Innes Cameron's only been here a couple of weeks since returning from loan. Pepe today, he is playing right back. I'm really kind of disappointed in him. As we're playing Ferguson and Finlay at centre half. Connor has Johnson, he's on the bench today as Connor Johnson in case we need to involve him. And Stuart Finlay, it's good to see him back and ruled in. Our fans are complaining about any rotation 11s that we have been playing lately. Stuart Finlay, it's good to see some of the fans are happy to see him back. Finlay's booked for the win winner just to challenge us. It's Halberg or Malin. Malin leaves it. It's Halberg. Say by Kovacic as we're the ones down at the brick to Hibernian. We're never going to have to stop playing this rotation on 11 at the moment. 
So guys, we're losing. Celtic are winning 2-0. Hearts are winning 1-0. Rangers are winning as well. Mullow are winning Samir and St. Dodds are winning Ross County. So guys, we're losing 1-0 to a burn-in. We've only had one shot in the game. Uh, so far, our man of the match is Pippi at short right back. So guys, the rotation 11 must come out of the starting 11. Guys, we're going to make a substitution at half-time. Uh, Pippi is going to be replaced, so Ferguson will go right back again. And we're going to bring on Connor Johnson at the break to see what he can do in the second half. But guys, our rotation 11 is never going to end at the moment. As uh, Connor Johnson, we're going to bring him on in defence and try and work hard and see what he can do with Stuart Finlay. Well won by Finlay for Brophy. Zakadu. What another assist, maybe. As Ennis Cameron! Oh, Ennis Cameron! Honestly, Ennis Cameron did absolutely superb in that performance today against Rangers here in midweek in the 2 0 win. Losing to a Bernie today, though. Jesus, boys. It's really, really pretty embarrassing when your team were really on a great run. And your team, what do they do? They really fall behind and never want to return to Scottish football in the end. Well done, Conor Johnson. What a touch and what a pass. And Amy Brophy went right through James. Amy Brophy! And the referee gives Brophy straight red card. Amy Brophy's just been sent off. Oh, it's been just can't up, believe it. Amy Brophy's been sent off for the nastiest challenges. So guys, we just got Eamon Brophy showing a straight red card. I cannot believe how much Brophy really is into this campaign. No no game for him next time out. Come on, Connor Johnson, well on that in the air. We don't have a winger at the moment, but Buck will be on shortly anyway. Zakadu. We don't even need a winger, I don't think. Here's Dicker. Ferguson playing in the right back row, but he's getting forward like a winger though. Ferguson, good ball in his Cameron! And guys, we're level. A goal for Ennis Cameron. As Ennis Cameron scores. Right about seven minutes after a straight red card was given to our star man, Eamon Brophy. And Ennis Cameron, the man at Bort, man at, uh, come, uh, the man at Kilmarnock Academy. <laughs> Oh, Zachary will press by Bucky! 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 We have to bring on Bucky out wide because Eamon Brophy was sent off for a straight red, but Bucky on you come to try and stretch your legs! Mm. Bucky! Bucky! Good to see Bucky off the bench. So Madden are winning in Motherwell. Here's Ferguson. Finds Bucky already. Oh my, this could be creative. The winger, what a lovely run from him. He can maybe find. Oh Jesus, that winger has got it from Buck. Well done. That winger could possibly score his first goal. Monic goal! And he's still yet to get it. His memory arrived on a five year deal on transfer deadline day for his new club. He's yet to score for us. After some substitute play there from Chris Buck. It's good to see Buck really marking in the team. Dodge. Oh Jesus. As our rotation 11 is not working at the moment. I don't know what's going on with us. Hips have been all over his cannabis. Connor Johnson said he won the ball. I think he did too. But the referee says no booking no. But Connor Johnson did come on at half time to try and see what he could do. Even Brophy has been sent off in this. Second off for a straight red against for us. Kubicic, fine save. Might have to keep him in the next game anyway. Since I don't trust Badescu being back in the team yet. Oh, Bucky! Bucky! Ferguson! What has he done? And a penalty has been awarded to Hibernian. Almost Kubicic. 
And Cummins can only show to the penalty. He's saying Cummins is the wrong way and he put it well over the bar as Cummins will probably be done happy to be a goalkeeper of Kilmarnock. Oh, Nico Hamelainen, what a pass out of that winger. That winger still yet to score. His first killing goal. Kelly maybe grab it. We assess. Buck! Oh, yes! Bucky! 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 We're going to bring off Innes Cameron anyway for Liam Miller. Oh, ho, ho. Bucky! Bucky! As it's going to bring on Liam Miller at this stage in the game. But Bucky! Bucky! And this camera's replaced by Liam Miller. Oh, Liam Miller! It's going to bring him off the bench and occasionally play. Up front guy. Because of Eamon Brophy's red card. Bergeson, well done, my man. It's been in crucial since you played right back anyway. Back. Oh, Jesus, Lee Miller. Oh, Lee Miller. Oh, Lee Miller, on you go. Marciano saves that effort well from Lee Miller. It's going to see Lee Miller stretching his legs over a broken ankle injury. Hello? One by Ferguson there. Mallon. Hibs are going in the attack in the last few minutes. Lee Miller finds Burke. No, oh, geez, I think we're going to win this depot. Since Lee Miller, he's in the box, in the Hibernian box. Three minutes added on time, guys. We need to hold on. As Hibernian could possibly go in the attack and possibly score that equaliser. I'm really, really scared of you guys. Think I am too as well. If you guys are pretty scared and you're Kelly fans, guys, three minutes of adding on time. It's well over. Kick the ball away. And guys, I'm ready a late winner. So guys, we scored a late winner with ten minutes to go from our super sub. Uh, Chris Bucky is Bucky is happy. Hibernian can't believe it. Off fans. As Damon Brophy was sent off, but Bucky am happy. I'll take that winner any day from Buck. But and for the next game, Eamon Brophy was suspended because against Hibs today, he got given a straight red. Lee Miller came on up front in the last few minutes. Mm -hmm. Bucky! Bucky! Hey, Colin, you happy with that? Mm. Well, hopefully the killer boys can march on to victories. Eamon Brophy was sent off for a straight of red card. Minutes later, Ferguson found in this Cameron who scored his first Scottish Premiership goal for the season. And Buck scored after the superb left winger found him as Bucky got saved. Bucky! Bucky came off the bench and done a stunning man of the match performance. Guys, we won. Celtic have won. Hearts have won. Sabrina have won. Rangers have won. And Ross County have lost to Johnson. And it's good to be the Barony and once again and back in rugby park. Ups and downs some Zakado are not really helping me. Mistakes do happen with Amy and Brophy a little bit. Thank you. Very happy with the win against the at Rugby Park. But guys, it's really good for us and Celtic to be both on over 70 points. You mean Brophy, I'm sorry, man, you're suspended. I'm proud of Rory McKenzie, actually, because he's come back to us and said...
So guys, we don't have him in Brophy for this trip to Celtic Park, as we've already really dined in it. Nothing personal, I don't think Pippi will be playing today, because he's a very big man, he can't even play! We need to stay focused, and no aim in Brophy means nothing up front for us, mostly. So guys, we don't have him in Brophy in today's game. He is suspended. We've got to keep an eye on this, but Brophy will sit in the stand anyway. Whoever wins this, guys, will be table toppers. So we win, we'll go above Celtic. If they win, um, they will go um, five points clear of us. But if, they, if we draw, this will be only one point by number one. Well, I really want to win, guys, to get above them in the Premiership table. <laughs> so Brophy's not up front. Who's up front? Philippine, I'm gonna give him a rare start up front here at Parkant. As I mean Brophy is out of suspension. That means Rodney is on the bench. So guys, we're actually going to put Lay on the bench and beg of it. Uh, guys, we're going to give uh, Badescu a start at Celtic Park today. Hopefully, guys, we can continue our winning start in today in today's episode. Going without Eamon Brophy anyway. So Filipino start up front on the front three. Eamon Brophy suddenly being suspended. I'm not playing in rotation 11 anymore because remember it's a big trip to Celtic Park. If we win, we're top of the Premiership. We won here last time. Out. Last time we won here. Uh -huh. So I have a lot of fans looking forward to it. Look at that, guys. The top two. As guys, it's really intentional to see what our Kilmarnock side have really never achieved. As our season, even Brophy's not available for the trip to Southern Park, but is in the crowd because of suspension after his red card last week. The Celtic 11. Let me show you it. Fraser Foster starts in goal. Mm -hmm. In defence, Bangoli, Mendes, Julian and Mohamed. Midfield two is McGregor and Brown, obviously. There in that position are Christy, Helen, Newsom, Savio. And uh, Odson, Edwin up front. Johnny Hayes is at Celtic, but will be joining us at the end of the season. Will be joining us at the end of the season. Aha, uh -huh, we are ready to get stuck in for that big trip. So guys, we're ditching that rotation 11. Uh, so Benesco, he's back in the 11. His cover sits doesn't even travel. Uh, Rod, uh, Eamon Brophy's not playing today. He's suspended. Or uh, us. So Philippines in while Rodney's on the bench. It's good to see Philippine in because Brophy's suspended. But it's good to see the number 10 is hoping to retain a very good status in playing in the rest of this campaign. Re rest of the campaign, hopefully, maybe for Kelly. And it doesn't matter. What well, Achilles striker believes in Robbie Park history. It's goal. Elanusi already on the attack for Celtic. Rocked down by Chris Buck already. And Chris Buck. And, and Buck goes off as well. Two minutes in. Chris Buck has been sent off inside two minutes at Park. Here. Chris Buck. A genuine long red card in the end. Now we don't have a right winger anymore. Oh, we do, Thomas. He will be coming off the bench instantly. Jesus, man. Means that's off already is Zakadu. But Dominic Thomas, we're going to have to bring him on. On the right wing. A red card inside two minutes at Celtic Park. For Crash Buck, Dominic Thomas will clap himself on. But Buck has been sent off at Park and inside. It'll be a couple of minutes. Buck, I can't believe it. He was sent off. Put it long by Badescu. It's good to see him back in the 11. Dominic Thomas, good to see him back off the bench again. Philippine El Hamid. Lee Miller's back in. 
Well, Celtic hoping to really do that. Chris Park can't believe he was sent off inside. A couple of minutes for us. Mm, after Amy Brophy was um, sent off last week. Should have been free kick. Back to Badescu. It's good to see Badescu roll back in. Oh, Philippine. Straight all the, over the top to Philippine from Badescu. Oh! On the man, on love from Sonny until the end of the season. Who's played eight games and only got two goals, but his lovey is Robbie Parker up. We're one up inside ten minutes at Parker, following a red card out there for us, but we don't care. So Philippine has scored. And the assist has come for Badescu. It's good to see Badescu has a goal assist already today. Yeah, Philippine, our striker in today, has got the goal. And it's just came from our goalkeeper that's in today. Badescu, who I'm r just rooting to start at Parkhead and hopefully do something. Oh, Edward goes down. Restrictively brought him down. Penalty Celtic. It's Edward against Badescu. Oh, Badescu saves as he's doing it. Badescu. Knows if Kilmarnock win today, he will send them top of the Premiership. As Kilmarnock, they are very, very proud to have Benesco back in after being out for the last three games. Because I dropped him because of no clean sheets. Taking it short, Benesco with another fine save for Kilmarnock. Benesco is making absolutely flying saves. To deny the champions! There's Badescu once again, it's good to see him. He's out for three games with Badescu on the bench as Kubasic was playing, but Badescu, it's good to see him back in. He's got the goal assist, come on, it's goal assist. Good ball in to the boards, the back post, but Strut Finley knocks it away in Philippine as well. As Philippine. Oh, what a ball from Philippine there! As Dominic Thomas continues his run. Brown could have done a little bit better and kept up with him. It's Dominic Thomas. Oh, saved by Foster. Come on, it. They are really going for it. At Parkhead today, since Buck's been off. Hamelainen. Philippine. What a touch. Nico Hamelainen. That was incredible, guys. Tell the girl over us, and we're still keeping in front. Wow, because Benesco is doing brilliant going plus our whole team has really got a lot of momentum of playing at Celtic Park in this afternoon's game. Celtic have had about four efforts at save Benesco. We've had about five or six efforts on goal since um, Chris Buck was inside two minutes, showing a straight red card. Filipino striker up front today and was even broke suspended. Got the goal and our goalkeeper Bradesco got the goal assist. So guys, it's good stuff so far from us at Park Kids. Here's Lee Miller now. Well done. Pass the another one. Beats Foster. And Liam Miller will celebrate us to be 2-0 up at Park Kids. We're in sensational. And at this rate, guys, we're heading top of the premiership. We are doing stunning well. Lee Miller hits his 10th Premiership goal of the season. It's good to see the winger doing so well recently. <coughs> <coughs> Rangers are winning against St. Johnson. Guys, look at this. It's really kind of terrible play. Especially from us. As Badescu. But well along into that Celtic half. Goes all the way through to Fraser Forster. And we just really watch it. Stuart Finlay knocking it backwards. As Badescu! Well done, Badescu. You're doing brilliant today, Ingo. Oh, Jesus, the Fabro has lost it. Who can win it for us? Not Edward. Not Edward. We don't win it off him. Maybe Helen Lucy will slip up a little bit here. Yeah, I think he has a little bit. Here's Van Gogh into the middle for McGregor. Stuart Finlay tackled him. Penalty against Finlay again. Oh! 
And Edwards put it over! So guys, Edward took two penalties, missed one, missed both of them. That's been it, let's go save one and Edward. That's third one over, but Esco is simply given the clean sheet. We are doing stunning in our form so far at Celtic Park. So Rangers are two up through Herrera. See Celtic, they are constantly putting pressure near our box it's going to be Edward probably to take the free kick or him and McGregor it's McGregor to set up Edward blocked by Nico Hamelainen but Esco's glad that went wide since our stunning premiership form has never been like this before incredible game this is for us at Celtic Park we're getting great balls as well up the line and all that and the, oh, Dominic Thomas on you go it's Van Gogh, remember so down goes Thomas never nothing but guys we are two up at Celtic Park at half time we've had a great start Chris Buck was sent off for us inside two minutes but I don't care about that but Pedesco has done well and kept a clean sheet so far for us at Park Kennens. First appearance in three matches, actually. Mm -hmm. But it's good to see us running consistent and running really getting into the game. Very good start. So, guys, 2 0 up we are. Uh, guys, so Aberdeen are winning 2 0, Motherwell are winning 1 0, uh, Livingston are winning 1 0, St Johnson are losing 2 0, Rangers and Hearts are winning 1 0. St Mirren. But guys, we're two up at Park Kent so far. Chris Buck has been sent off for us already. So they got all over us. Uh, Philippines are man of the match so far. Buck was sent off inside the opening two minutes. That's our man of the match is our goalkeeper Bradescu. He's a really good threat in goal for us today. Philippine up the line. Oh Jesus. Come on, Badescu, I've had a team talk with you guys at half time to continue what you did in the first half. Lee Griffiths might come on in the second half or so. Well done, Ferguson. Oh, it didn't come off Ferguson last. It came off Elanusi, apparently, so we'll just play on anyway with half row in. Here we go, guys. Here's the Fabro. So, Murrow are beating Hamilton and the Lennox are Derby. I honestly don't care about that. Only I care about this result for us, especially. Down goes Edward. Oh, DeFabro brings him down this time. It's a penalty to Celtic. It's Edward against Pedescu this time. And this time he beats Pedescu with a finish. Pedescu has been sent the wrong way this time. As that's on Edward. There's now one behind him in Brophy, who's not in the killer team, because he got a red card last week. I'm really... Can't believe we can sit in there, but it's okay, boys. We're still winning at Parkhead, it's good stuff. Make... Make your favourite thing. Make your favourite thing. And from hell on new see Christy! Who Celtic brought on, they brought on Lee Griffiths to maybe do something. Boredom. Now here's Brown. Heinz McGregor. Helen Nussi onto Griffiths. What did possibly Griffiths want? Dominic Thomas. It's good to see him out on that wing. Can he maybe score his first ever goal at Celtic Park? He never scored here for Motherwell and never for Hamilton, but guys, he's still failing to score for us. He's really going to have to really up his game a little bit if he wants to get goals the next couple of seasons. So, Hibernian on level for Campari. Celtic are trying to get level probably against us. But we are still beating them at Parkhead. Well, come on. Oh, Jesus, fellas. This doesn't look... This looks a little bit skinny. Offside against Lee Griffiths. So, guys, we're going to bring on a substitution at the moment. We're going to bring, off, bring on McCreaney for Gary Dicker. At Parkhead, especially. Hopefully, McCreaney can maybe do something. Oh, we can't really get out of our near area. Finley, what a block. As our defence is rock solid at the moment at Celtic Park. We might be have conceded one, but 
We're still getting the defensive duties of our defensive players that are never going to be rolled out. And it's Dominic Thomas! Post rebounds! As Dominic Thomas of Nottingham score at all in the this season. And it's good to see it. It's coming at Parkhead in the middle of February. That's Dominic Thomas's first Premiership goal of the season from Dominic Thomas as we are free one up at Parkhead in February we're absolutely cruising as guys we are top of the table at this rate on a Celtic come back on De Fabro just do something fair well blocked by De Fabro I think Benesco is going to be happy with the defence in front of him Philip, good replace by Rodney. Well, his goal in the first half. He's not really done much in the second half, but he's going to go off for Rodney. And Jams come on for Celtic, though. Stola. Oh, John in. He probably should have beaten Badescu there. Shoot Finley, well won. Ferguson. Jesus guys lost by L McCreaney. Here's Griffiths. L McCreaney. Well done boys. Winning 3 1 Sit Park Ed. There's still 8 minutes to go. Celtic are really hoping to get something. Here's Griffiths. Finds Christie. Oh, Finley! And now Finley has been sent off in the air and a bit of barging between him and Griffiths. Two red cards in one game, guys. It's pretty damn awful. So guys, we're going to bring off Liam Miller. And we're going to bring on... Oh, guys, we don't have any other subs left. So we're going to have to... Defo try. We still... The guys, we're... Moving Hamelain into centre-back and Liam Miller to left-back. For now. Zarius or Cham, it's going to be Cham to set up Ryan Christie, well over. For the next game we will have Chris Buck and Strip Finley suspended, but Damon Brophy back from suspension. DeFabro, just watch what you're doing, because remember you're on a card. Here's Griffiths, Sinton Cham, saved well by Badescu, it's going to be good and stunning show. To see Badescu make his back well return to Rugby Park next week. Oh Jesus, the Fabro well cleared on to power. Find that Dominic Thomas. The Rodney, Jesus man, McGregor. Find sir, but say Babadescu. So guys, we're top of the league after a 3-1 win at Parkhead today. I'm very, very fond and happy. Philippine, was he given man of the match performance? I don't think he was. Badescu has been given man of the match. A lot of good games. You guys, we're now top of the league, falling off 3-1 win at Celtic Park. Because Pippi, I just didn't want to involve him off the bench because he's really capable of playing for us. We are not unbeaten, remember. Because we won 3-1 at Celtic Park, that sees us go top of the league, so we're heading back to our own ground, Rugby Park. Top of the league. Scottish Cup semi final quarter final against Hearts. We are ready for that game. Finlay and Buck are suspended. Brophy's back from his suspension. They are the Scottish Cup quarter final games. Okay. I'm to keep an eye on Neesmith for now. Going 
good to see him in Brophy's back though. Uh, we're going to bring Pippi into the team. And we'll also play him today against Hearts. Uh, not Hearts. Yeah, Hearts and Scottish Cup. We'll give him a start on the bench, our number four. The random late just arrived in summer him. We'll give him a start on the bench. Maybe he come off the bench against Hawks. Maybe he scores first goal for the club. As it's good to see Benesco is back in goal these days. But it's incredible how much the England because Connor Johnson just can't really complain about about it as it's really big in centre back choice. As we are ready for the quarter final draw, quarter final game on Sunday for hosting Aberdeen. So guys, we have won the Player of the Month award in February. Thank you very much. Just finding that out. We're trying to get the series over and done with tonight. Mm -hmm. The guys, we're going to save it up there. Thank you 